second day of the rally. Uh, you know, day one was like kind of the, the setup where we were getting all the cars, uh, vinyl, so we dropped it off at yellow. Day two was actually the first day of the rally. Now it's day three, the second day of the rally. Um, everyone got some sleep last night. We didn't party too much because we got in so late. We're gonna check in with Allison. Allison, how are you doing this morning? Great. Did you get your coffee? No, I did not get my coffee. The line was way too long. You what? So the line was way too long. <laughs> So, no breakfast, no coffee, um, but you're ready though. I am. I did get you a Red Bull. Oh, nice. I had those. Where'd you, where'd you get them from? In the convenience store. Oh, she went to the store. She got me a Red Bull. Uh, she's the greatest, right? Greatest co-pilot. So, we're going to be back navigating again. going to check in with some other people, see what they learned. hotel, uh, the London house, and Matt and Wally have decided to stop at some car dealership uh, to check out some exotic cars, more exotic cars, I guess. Um, Allison says she wants a Ferrari or a Lambo, <laughs> so I mean... Are you buying me a Ferrari? No, no, I absolutely am not, but I might get one for myself. Is that what I get for being such a great navigator? <laughs> I usually get to go play with the cars. I always go to car dealerships all the time and drive cars all the time. So, um, no, I'm not buying a new car. But I definitely, I want to check out some Ferraris and some Lambos because I actually saw one on the road uh, in the rally. It was tight. So, we're in the area. Might as well go check them out. More cars. <laughs> <laughs> yes, more cars. <laughs> Are you saying you don't like them long or you do like them long? Cause I'm unclear on that. <laughs> Why 
Uh, he's our tour guide right now, showing us all the special cars. Uh, he has special access because he's always here. That's it, you guys saw the awards, Crown Rally 2016 in the books. See you next year. There's five things I'd say to bring on the Crown Rally. The things that I would recommend on bringing. The things I'd recommend bringing on the rally, don't forget these. First thing, hands down, radar detector. Definitely be a radar detector. Quality radar detector. Saved us so many times. We have a Valentine one, people have Escort 9800, but something that can detect uh, K-band, K-band, a long range out. That really helps, especially in conjunction with Waze. I didn't bring one, I wasn't prepared with one. So what I did, and also another thing I recommend, is actually follow behind someone if you don't have one. Follow behind someone that has a radar because then you can think it's spot on cops for you. The second thing that I think everyone should have is some sort of camera, whether it's a dash cam or a GoPro or something. Bring something to record some footage. You're in a dash cam just to kind of record footage and some cool scenes that you use while you're driving and stuff. Then I would bring, definitely bring, multiple mobile devices. Multiple cell phone carriers. Whether you got T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon, whatever you got, between you and your co-pilot, make sure you got one on a different carrier because you're going to lose service on one that you can fill in with the other. We have Verizon, Sprint, AT&T, and T-Mobile all in the same spots. car. Hotspots. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Handheld roadmap because you go out and get on a service a lot on the phones on the GPS. The last thing I'd say to bring would be a GPS, a dedicated GPS. You don't have to worry about your self-service. If you have your GPS, that'll just be a satellite. It'll tell you exactly where you are. You can type in your coordinates because they give you a direct location. You don't have to search it up or anything. Just GPS, and you'll always know where you are and where you're going. Well, I think that's about it. Those are the main things that we didn't do last year or improved upon from the previous year. And don't make our mistake.